This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. on the new Goodrich, spelled D-O-O-D-R-I-C-H, Goodrich, Safety Silvertown. The sooner, the safer. The shadow, mysterious character who aids the forces of law and order, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. As the shadow, Cranston is gifted with hypnotic power to cloud men's minds. So that they cannot see. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's story, The House of Horror. This is the gorilla house here. Yeah. What about the watchman? There's only two of them in the whole zoo this time of night. I won't be around here for an hour. This is the screwiest job we ever done. Putting a snatch on a gorilla. Why does he want the gorilla? Is he gonna terrorize the city or what? I never asked no questions on a job. And this is a job, so let's get at it. There's the cage over there. That's him. That's the gorilla. Got the telephone? Yeah, right here. Give me it. We'll pour some on this rag. Put the rag on a pole and slam it in the gorilla's snoot. Keep away, though, this stuff is dynamite. Okay. Now, take a whiff of this, big boy. Looks like that'll do the job. Sounds, sounds like he's passing out. All right, open my cage. I'm going in. Hey, wait, Mac. Open it up. It'll take about one minute. Hey, hey, take it easy, big boy. Hey, Mac. Mac, are you all right? Shut up, you fool. All right, now come in here. In the cage? It's all right. He's passed out now. Come on, come on. Help me move. Okay, if you say so, but I don't like it. Hey, he ain't exactly no baby. No. All right. Here, yeah, let's try and hold him out. All right? Let's go. Oh, heavy. Anybody in here? Someone's coming. See what you're yelling, did? Yeah. Stay where you are, bud. Get that flashlight out of my eyes. What are you doing? The gorilla. Taking the gorilla out of here. You figured that one out in a hurry. If you can't do that, I'll... Don't call for nobody. Come on, Eddie. Let's get this gorilla in the van. Quick. Then, Margo, according to the version I read, the men were seen hauling the gorilla to a truck. That's how they made the getaway. What about the keeper in the zoo that discovered them, Lamont? Dead when they found him. Two bullet holes through the head. Oh, no. Excuse me, but could I protrude myself into the conversation? Could I hate... Why, certainly, Stevie, this is your care. What's on your mind? Well, about this here now case of the missing gorilla. Yeah? Well, uh, just this morning, I've gone that over with my friend and acquaintance of whom you have heard me talk. Big Charlie Hay. And what does your friend and acquaintance, Big Charlie Hay, have to say? Well, he's no more than most of us about what could have happened on account of he knows a fellow who owns a monkey. Oh, that's 
Very interesting. We're getting warm, Lamont. Uh -huh. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Them dark pedestrians. Well, where am I? A big Charlie is knowing a fella who owned the monkey. Correct. Now, according to Big Charlie, he says it's according to the fella who owns the monkey. This here now gorilla, who was just an overgrown monkey after all, maybe just woke out of the zoo by himself. Oh, uh, this is Big Charlie's theory? Yeah. He says the monkey fella says that all the nature's born wanderers. So Big Charlie figures that this here gorilla got sick of the zoo and opened the cage of Oh. Uh, you mean the gorilla drove the truck away, huh? Well, he put a hell of a Oh, Screevy, how does Big Charlie explain the keeper being shot and killed? Well, to tell you the truth, Miss Lane, that stunk. He never heard of a gorilla carrying no gun. No, uh, not without a permit. Oh, not without a permit. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shady, I'm afraid that your friend Big Charlie's barking up the wrong tree this time. Yeah, he's just a dreamer, I guess. Oh, Shady, will you stop here, please? Sure, sure. Hey, that's the idea, Martha. I thought I was taking you to the country for lunch. Well, you're taking me to lunch, Lamont, but not to the country. Oh, now, wait a minute. Not this place. Why not? I hate tea rooms, Margot. Especially one that's called the oldie and quainty gypsy tea room. Oh, but Lamont, they tell wonderful fortune things. I don't care, Margot. This is one time I'm going to be firm. I definitely and absolutely am not going into that... More tea, Lamont. Huh? Oh, uh, no. No, thanks. Lamont, you're not paying any attention to what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Margot. I... I've been doing some unconscious eavesdropping. What do you mean? There's a very interesting fortune being told in the next booth. Please, but... Isaac Carl, that you have lost something. Is this not true, me? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh... What did you do? Of course. It was in the form of... Uh... It was a neck. Uh, the fair young lady has lost a neck. The card tell me where the necklace can be found. Where? 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 I must consult the priest. I see a shark, a tiny shark. In the window of the shop are many animals. They are dead animals, stuff to look alive. That's them, sir. That's it. Inside that shop, there are many more animals. One of these is a giant stuffed gorilla. In the mouth of that gorilla, in the mouth, your necklace will be found. Wait. I will write down the text. You'll never know how great I am to you to tell me to fight. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'll go there. I'll go there at once. Thank you. Oh, I think you'll see. A fair young lady is very generous. Don't forget. In the mouth of the gorilla, you find him. Oh, I won't forget. Goodbye. Okay. That text on the shop sounds very interesting. You mean you like stuff, gorilla? No, but considering the events of last night at the zoo... It is a coincidence to learn of someone who has such an interest in the beast. Oh, this must be the shop. There's animals in the window. Oh, yes, it must be it. Hello? Uh, hello? Is, is there anyone here? Oh, what an eerie place. The animals are not so good. Is there, is there anyone in the shop? I don't see any gorilla. Oh, might as well. Oh, wait. Yes, there it is. There's the gorilla. Oh, yes. Oh. Well, might as well give this thing a try. In the mouth of the gorilla, I'll find the necklace. Well, open up, Mr. Gorilla, and let me... Let's see. Yes, I believe you better. 
she looks so white and still lying there strapped to the table. Is she dead? The first Madame Santa, you leave this case to me. Please, Mother, thank you, almost grabbed me. I don't think the gorilla is very fond of you, Madam. <laughs> Did you tell him a bad fortune, perhaps? I hate the beast. I'm afraid of him. I will be glad when the experiment is over and he has gone away. You shan't have long to wait, Madam Santo. Within 24 hours, I shall be ready. Madam Santo. Yes, Professor. You know you still haven't finished or fulfilled your entire bargain with me. You mean the other girl? Yes. Yes. I need two young women for this experiment, you know. Believe me, Professor. When you are ready, the other one will be here. Good. Excellent. <laughs> two women I need if I should succeed. Then my experiment with an ape will make all it When you perform this experiment, will it kill the girl? You are flying into secrets, my dear. Trying into things you should not hear. Ah, not of my silly jingles. You see this machine, Madame Santo? Yes. Its delicate mechanism will assure my experiment success. Of course, the young woman will live. I have but to turn the switch so, and the work will be done. But will the young women be normal again? To all appearances, yes. But appearances are deceiving, my dear. These women will be possessed of a superhuman strength and talent. At my bidding, they will rob, pillage, and even murder. <laughs> All in the guise of sweet, innocent womanhood. If we reach, with them working for us, we will have a fortune. Not only a fortune, Madame Santo. If the experiment turns out as I believe it will, we perform many hundreds of human transformations. Who knows? Perhaps. Perhaps. We might even rule the world. Yesterday, yesterday, society girl, Mr. Nesky, did you uh, make that? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm a Thank you. Yesterday, yesterday. Well, who is this missing socialite, Lamont? Oh, probably some publicity seeking it. Oh, but look. What? Look at this picture. By Lamont. It's the girl we saw on the TV. Yes, listen to this. Doris Mona, missing since Monday afternoon. No clues to her appearance. Or disappearance, rather. Found. On Monday? That was the day we saw her. Oh, yes. Hey, that fortune teller. Do you suppose she would know anything about this thing? I have an idea she might. Yes. Yes, I think it would be very worthwhile paying a call on her as the shadow. <laughs> Now you won't talk anymore, you won't talk. 
Mr. Chatter will be back on the air with surprises, suspense, and a thrilling, unexpected climax. But meanwhile, here's something mighty important to bear in mind when you drive a car. Just remember that rainy days make the grass grow greener. They may bring out the best in flowers, but they bring out the worst in roads. Yes, beware. A road that's plenty safe when dry may become a dangerous skid trap when wet. Sending your car skidding, spinning, swirling off the road. Motorists, why take this chance when you can now get a sensational new kind of tire that will stop you quicker, safer than you've ever stopped before? The new Goodrich takes to Silvertown with the light saver train. Impartial test conducted by the country's largest independent testing laboratory against the regular and premium price tires of America's six largest manufacturers proved that no tire tested, regardless of price, came up to the new Silvertown in non-skid action. Furthermore, these unbiased tests showed that the new Goodrick Silvertown with light saber tread gave more non-skid mileage than any of the other tires tested in its own price range. Imagine, the new Goodrick Silvertown averaged 19.1% more miles before the tires wore smooth. It's the same as saying, you'll get every six mile free. Yes, many tires cost more than the new Goodrick Silvertown, but no tire at any price can give you the unequal skid protection of the lifesaver tread, the exclusive blowout protection of the golden fly. Keep danger of stranger. Put a set of these life-saving long mileage tires on your car without delay. Now, Margot, you uh, know what you're to do? Yes. I'll tell the fortune teller that I've lost the ring. The name of you should direct me to the taxi down the shop just as you did draw us more. That's it. And be sure to get the address. Well, here she comes now. Fraction. I better finish my tea and get ready to go. Yes, Watson. But, ah, yes, Watson told me. What? Yes. Yes, I would like to have my fortune told. Good. But be gentle, man. You want him to leave? Well, I was just, uh, I was just leaving. Uh, see you tomorrow, Margo. Milo, call me, won't you? Yes, I will. Well, here we are. Yes. Here we are. Good man. Your fiancé for that? Oh, no, no. He's just in Clinton. Got the car, please. And make your wish. All right. There you are. And do try to make the wish come true. Ah, oh, a young lady in love. Oh, no. No, it's not that at all. It, it's something like law. Hmm. Then we shall not need the car. The crystal is for him that I lost. Now... What is jewelry? What is missing? Yes. Yes, that's right. It, it's a ring. I consult the crystal. Father, Saviva, Nana Hare, I see a tree down by the river front. On that tree is a tiny shark. In the window of the shop are many animals. They are dead animals. Stop! You look alive! You have to go on. Inside that shop, there are many more animals. One of these is a giant stuffed gorilla. Yes. In the mouth of that gorilla, in the mouth, your ring will be found. Oh, oh are you sure? The crystal never lies. Uh, you will go to that shop? Yes. Yes, of course. The crystal shows that time is very precious. If you want your ring, you must go for it right away. It's very nice. Bob mm. Lamar, I'm just to see two feet ahead of me. Well, we're right on the river front, Bob. It's deserted here at night. We haven't passed the living soul since we left the car. Well, it's not exactly a person, A foghorn doesn't help that either. Gosh, I hope we don't pass by the shop. I can't do a thing. I've been watching for it. You know, everything considered, I'm certainly a smart kid. <laughs> Just what you teach. It's a fine night to go on and put my hand in a gorilla's mouth. What's the matter? Why can't we get my leg? Oh, it's only a cat. Oh. A black cat, I might add. Oh. 
Well, it's a good thing I'm not superstitious. Did he cross in front of me? Oh, not superstitious, eh? <laughs> well, no. Just be careful. Oh, wait. I believe this is the place. Yes. Did the animals in the window? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you suppose the shop is open this late? I'm quite sure it is. Expressly for your benefit. We'll try the door. Yeah. Margo, if we hear anyone coming, I'll duck behind one of the animals. All right. Okay, it's a frightening place. What's that noise? Just the clock ticking off the minute. You don't think it's a bomb. <laughs> No, I'm sure it isn't. I don't think, though, we should attempt to find the light. Better that we remain in the darkness. Uh, Margo, you look on that side of the room, and I'll take this side. All right. And if I find it, I'll shout, but loud. <laughs> Lamont. Yes? I found a stuffed goat. Will you settle for that? Uh-uh. I won't be the butt of that joke. Uh, well, no harm in trying. Lamont, what was that? It sounded like a live gorilla. Herbert, watch it. The mouse. Yes? I found it. It's a gorilla. The mouse is closed. Well, wait a minute. Let me help well, you. Wait, I'll open it. <laughs> Becoming impatient too, eh, big boy? Soon, oh so soon, you'll know the supreme joy. Machine is almost ready. But we must be steady. Uh, yes, my dear. The other young lady has arrived. Good. Bring her in, Madame Santo. <laughs> now, now we are all set. The finest we are about to do. Yes, yes, I know, big fellow, I know. Your waiting has ended. Both the young women are ready and here. My hour of triumph is very near. Get in here, you. Where, where am I? Still dazed from the fall through the step door. I see. Hmm. She's an excellent specimen. Put her on the table next to the other young woman, Madame Santo. Wait, take your hands off me. Ah, she has a temper. That's very good, very good. The girl on the table. What? A god, moon. The girl who disappeared. You know her? Well, I know who she is, yes. What are all these strange-looking machines? <laughs> what do you intend to do? Put it on the table, Madame Santo. No, no, you Put won't. Put the door quickly. No, no, no. It is very foolish of you to try to escape. Let me out, let me out. <laughs> a gorilla. That's right, young lady, a gorilla. <laughs> Seems to like you. That's very good. Considering that you and he shall soon be one. What do you mean? I intend to combine your brain with portions of the brain of the gorilla. No, no. When it is finished, you and the other young lady shall retain your brain. But the strength of this beast. Oh, no. Oh, you can't. You can't. How would I can? Fasten the strap around the body. No, let me go. Now no. I'm putting the machine in no. place here. Let me off this table. Is that the electrode? There we are. Oh, stop. Stop it, you Now we try out the machine. In a moment, the current will be passing through your body, young lady. Don't let me off the Let's see. Please. Huh? What's happened? My machine, the current has failed. <laughs> what was that? Have I spoiled your plan, Professor Bailey? Huh? Yes, Madame Santo. I warned you that you'd hear from me again. Who is this talking? I see no one. It is the shadow. He's invisible, Professor. You cannot see him. Why is he here? I have come to learn of your experiment. And it appears that I arrived just in time. Did, did you tell this boy where we were, Madame Santos? No, no. And how did you know him? He came to my quarters last night. I trust you. Now you prick me. Trying to ruin my experiment. That is not true, I swear it. Now, Madame Santo, you know you told me to come here. No. Don't you remember that you promised that we would learn the secret and profit by it ourselves? No, I Don't you believe in Professor Please? No, you are going to reap the harvest of my years of labor. Feel my secret men dispose of me. That is not so he lies. I he have lies. a way of dealing with those who betray my trust. Professor, put down that knife. This is to be the survival of the city. I am going to be the one who survives. Don't help me. Don't keep him away from me. I do not fear him. He's only a boy. You are flesh and blood. I can deal with you. Oh. Leave her alone, Professor Dealing. Keep out of this. I will open the cage. 
If you don't keep away, I will look in the cage. I will free the gorilla. You wouldn't dare. You are more afraid of him than you are of me. I warn you. Keep away or I will open it. Don't 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 open